Hi, and welcome to Basement Projects. This is a piece of POM. A customer asked me to make a replacement for a bushing for his bicycle trailer. And this is the material I'm going to use. I think this is the first time that I'm going to show a project for a customer and not one of my own. I'm starting with a face cut and roughing away as much material as possible to the shoulder of the bushing. I took measurements at three different places just to make sure I have no taper in the part. The outside diameter isn't important, I just cut away enough material to get a clean look. Time to rough out the material from the inside. I don't know why, but I like the look of it. I will use a boring bar to get to my final dimension. I don't realize it yet, but I screwed up. Maybe you can guess where I went wrong. You got time until you see the problem in the video. A quick tip, what you will hear right now is an indicator of my problem.
This is my final dimension, and this is a point where I noticed that something went wrong. Let's take a closer look. I got shadow marks all over the surface. This isn't acceptable and I won't deliver something like this to a customer. Those marks are not from the boring bar or the lathe. They are produced by the thin walls of the material itself. If this was a metal part, I wouldn't run into this problem. But I will learn from it. Time to flip this part around and start from the beginning. But this time I'm going to machine the inside first. Now this is a much better result. I'm just using some masking tape to prevent any scratches on the surface. And this is the final part. You can still see a small amount of shadow marks on the outside, but you can barely feel them. This is acceptable. It will get pressed into a metal ring, so it won't even be visible. That's it for this video. Bye and thanks for watching.